So I'm taking the opportunity to welcome you to our revision classes, um, the block revisions. And we are starting to look at a uh, past paper for 2024. Um, <clears throat> 2024, April, uh, it's just a sitting which, um, which was tested the other day. And therefore we just need to go through the questions and we see the area that we need to improve. Um, we are starting with a VAT question there. Kelly Limited is a, a merchandising company operating in Kenya. And the following transactions are extracted from the company's record during the month of September 2023. Uh, we have the sales as standard rate. We have the export to Egypt. We have the purchases as standard rate. We have the purchase of oil and fuel for delivery van. We have the repairs of poppy furniture with PE salaries and wages. We have the purchase of machinery or stationary, sorry. Electrical bills not paid. Legal fees, purchase from the trade and registered for the VAT, um, zero rated sales. Additional information number one. <clears throat> we have been told not number one, the VAT accountant established that um, the standard rate purchases were understated by 20%. We need to get the correct figure for the purchases. Now, the sales are standard rate include the goods valued at 278.4 million, uh, 400, uh, 278,400 sold to a credit customer who was declared bankrupt during the month. I know very well that. Uh, if in an, in an organization today, where the goods, where the person you sold the product is be declared bankrupt, you can write a letter to the KRA to reclaim the VAT which you declared for such customer. So that what you can be able to deduct from yourselves. A customer returned goods sold at standard rate valued at 58 to a customer and a credit note was issued immediately. I could be able to understand that uh, the credit note issued normally reduces our sales. Um, we have been told in note number four, the credit suppliers issued debt notes. Uh, the notes in respect to suppliers standard rate amounted to 580. Now, this is the credit notes. Um, one should be a customer, that is a credit note received. Credit note received. Credit note received as what? Um, um, I'll just be able to elaborate between the two. Number five, we have been told that uh, uh, the credit suppliers issued debt not in respect to supplier standard rate amounted to 580. Number five, the accountant also established that an invoice of 480,000 from a foreign supplier was recorded in the books. The import duty for the goods was at the rate of 20%. Then number six, we have been told the repairs of open furniture was carried out by a local carpenter not registered for VAT. Now some number seven, we have been told the transactions, uh, the transactions are inclusive of VAT at the rate of 16% we applicable. And then the, under the requirement, we have been told, can we be able to compute the VAT payable by, by or refundable to Kenley, uh, uh, Kenley Limited for the month of September 2023, 2023. Now that is a question that is being posed um, up to you, and I know I know very well that uh, the students are asking a very good question. Uh, what should I be doing right now when these questions are being raised? Now, the credit note received because the credit note issued normally reduces your sales. So let me just elaborate it in our board here for better understanding. Um, Relating to these two things here. Um, so um, in this case, we have to be looking at uh, the debit notes. Debit notes, uh, debit notes issued. Debit notes issued increases our sales. They normally increase your sales. We have the credit, credit not issued, right? What normally happens to the credit not issued reduces, reduces sales. Then we have 
the debinary fields. The debinary fields increases, increases your particles, increases your particles. Then we have the credit notes. The credit note receives reduces reduces your purchases reduces your purchases these are the major things that you need uh, to put in your senses to understand how to treat uh, both concepts and uh, you have to be understanding who is issuing them um, and what you need to do now let us approach question number one um, our question here um one minute okay um i hope everyone has a question for follow please So um, <clears throat> you'll allow me to use this question in a very simple way. Can you be able to allow me to use the VAT account? The VAT account, we have the inputs. These are your purchases. Then those are your sales, right? Allow me to use the, the VAT account for betterment of our, um, <clears throat> for better understanding and also analyzing the question when it has the issues of, uh, uh, the issue of, um the issue of VAT inclusive. So you can just be able to use this format when you have those problems. Now let me start with the I can be able to start with the additional informations. Um we have been told let me start with note not number two. I can be able to start with my cells here. Right? The cells now. We have been told the sales are standard rate included goods all 278 400 sold at a credit customer was declared bankrupt in that month. So in this case, we said we have to be deducting that. We can take 61, 61.99, minus, right, minus 278.400. Okay, so how much is this? How much is this? You can't see the boards. Everyone can see the boards. So let us proceed. Um, we are looking on that. So how much is the answer, please? How much is the answer? How much is the answer here? When you take 61, 6 million, 997, how much are you getting? Let me look for my calculator because
معلمه ما ميوت Okay, sorry. So in this case, we were looking at uh, the issues of the cells. You can be able to see the cells, how we were able to compute. And I said, using the T, T, T account style, it normally assists you to calculate all these. Um, rather than converting this figure to 100, then getting the 16%, you get this amount. It is very important for you to use that T account. It, 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 it is a direct. So once you deduct this, you can see you are able to get it straight away. Then when it comes to the grid not issued, it is going to be reducing your, your input, right? So if you are using the other columnar form format, you could just be deducting the 50,000 from your, uh, the value, the, uh, the, uh, the, the value of the VAT. Um, <clears throat> so in this case, you can see it is being reduced there. Now, when it comes to the addition number one, we have been told it was reduced by 20%. So our figure is, we have now to be taking it back to um, 200%. So remembering this is the inclusive of the VAT. Okay, it is inclusive of the VAT. Let us just calculate our values outside here. So let me look at it in this case, purchases. So the purchases of ours are 4 million, right? We are being told they were reduced by 20%. You can just decide here to say these are equivalent to 114%. Is it 114? No. 116. Let me look at it. 116 minus 20. It means this figure is 96 because it is inclusive. 96%. Let us have a very simple question. What about 116%? It will be 4 million times 116. Divided by 96. So how much is this? 4 times 116 divided by 96. We are getting something closer to this. 4, uh, 8, uh, 3, 4, 3, 3. So that is the figure. So it will be looking like this. 4, 8, 3, uh, 3, 3, 3. Times 16 of 116, right? Um, uh, let me see there. How much the answer? Times 16 divided by 116, get it triple six, triple six, 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 seven, triple six, 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 seven. Rather than having 4 million, you are reducing these. Uh, to 20%. This is the correct figure, by the way, uh, for your purchases, which are inclusive of the VAT, which are inclusive of the VAT. Now, let us look at something else um, apart from that one. So let me see here. The next we have been told we are having um, a customer return goods sold at standard rate valued at 58. I think we are done with that. Not number four, we have been told the credit issued, uh, the credit suppliers, the credit suppliers issued debit notes, uh, debit notes uh, which are being issued by suppliers. So these are the debit notes received. We have been told that uh, in respect to suppliers, uh, to supplier standard rate amounted to 580. So in this case, we have a debit note. A debit note, uh, debit note does not. Debit note received. This coming from the suppliers. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Um, a credit suppliers. Issue debit notes in respect to suppliers um, as standard rates. So, what does, um, because that is a debit note received. It was issued by suppliers. So, in our organization, we have to be receiving it, right? It is going to be increasing. Um, <clears throat> 
So the debino receipts it was issued by supplier to Razen. So it is going to be increasing. They might be supplying the goods, um, understated goods, by the way. Uh, so that might be the case. So we have been told they were able to issue of 580. So 580 times 16 over 116, 580,000 times 16 divided by 116, we are getting 80,000. 80,000 there. That is not number four. We have been told in not number five. The accountant also established that uh, there is an invoice of 480,000 from foreign supplier was not recorded in the books. The import duty for it was 20%. So how are you going to be doing with it, Mohammed? A recorded invoice from the supplier. So how much is that? How are you going to be treating it? Now, for those people who normally buy, file their VATs, right? Um, <clears throat> we have been told that um, the accountant was just able to establish an invoice of 480 from a foreign supplier mm -hmm. uh, who was supplying the goods, um, not recorded in the books. So the import duty uh, for these goods was valued at 20. Um, the import duty now, which are coming, uh, the supplier is not... Uh, it is not uh, convertible, but we are. So it doesn't mean, is it means that uh, you are going to be claiming something that is not going to be declared. Now, remember what is happening with the KRA today, that you cannot be able to claim an invoice, right? That is not sold to you uh, through the uh, auto-populated system. So if it is not, if you are being sold by the person who is not registered, there is no any way you can be able to claim uh, such an invoice. You cannot be able to claim such an invoice. Now, we have been told not, not number six, which is applying with the same uh, policies which are being made by the revenue authorities starting from the January. Uh, we have been told that, uh, we have been told that uh, the repairs of the office furniture was carried out by a local carpenter, not registered for VAT. And therefore, it means you cannot be able to claim the input in that invoice as per the policies of these uh, financial and uh, the policies which kicked off from the 1st of January uh, 2024. And then we have been told the VAT were adjusted. Let us look at um, the exports from Egypt. The exports comes here. The exports which are rated unless otherwise they change. So it is 800,000 times 0%, which is zero here. Now, when you look at uh, the purchases at standard rate, I think that one we have already uh, captured here. We have the purchase of oil. Uh, of oil. Purchase of oil uh, and fuel. The purchase of oil and fuel, uh, we have 360, 500. Times you know now this is the inclusive of the VAT. There is no any time, it is not as the, the earliest time when you used to talk about um we used to talk about what we used to talk about uh, uh the eight percent this translates to 49 724 49 724 that is the purchase of fuel we have the repairs of the office furniture we paid but we cannot be able to claim on that we have things like how did fees the audit fees, the audit fees, um, we have 160,000 times 16 over 116, 160,000 times 16 divided by 116, we are getting 22,069, 22,069, that is the audit fees. We have things like uh, salaries and wages. So the salary the wages we have things like uh, 14 80,000 times 16 of 116 we have to pay uh 1480 uh for 1880 times 16 divided by 116 
getting 204, 204, 138, 204, 138 there. Uh, we have things like um, the purchase of stationaries. The purchase of stationery, we have 68,000 times 16 over 116. So 16,000 times 16 divided by 116. We have 9379. 9379. Electricity bills uh, which are not paid, right? We have things like electricity. Electricity, we have 56,400 times 16 over 116. 56,400 times 16 divided by 116. Get is something closer to 7779. 7779 there. Uh, we have the legal fees. Legal fees. So how much is the legal fees? Um, the legal fees we have the legal fees, the legal fees. The legal fees. The legal fees. The amount is 48, 600, times 16 over 116. So 48, 600, times 16, divided by 116, getting 6703. 6703. If the total comes on this side, if the totals, when you do the totals, and the excess comes on this side, we have the VAT payable. We have the VAT payable there. Then we, if it comes on this side, we have the VAT refundable. The VAT refundable, we can be able to put there. So I can see we have zero rated cells. This zero rated cells. And we have been told our zero rated cells amount to uh, 400,000. Uh, 400, so 400,000 times 0%, you are getting zero there. Now, um, I know now some, some people might be asking what normally comes when it comes to the issues of uh, restrictions. When are we supposed to be doing restrictions? And uh, when you are doing the restrictions here, um, a bit, they normally apply, the restriction basically applies, um, one minute, I can be able to see the areas you cannot be able to see. So let us just let us utilize the way it is today before we waste a lot of time there. Um, yeah, right now, looking like that is better. Now, when you look on the, the issues of uh, restrictions, we normally restrict when we have exempted cells. The exempted sales is when we normally restrict, but if it is not in the question, don't continue doing the restrictions because even the formulas for doing the restrictions will be restricting you to do so. So in this case, we just need to understand how will we be able to get the VAT refundable, uh, refundable, so payable. We say it, we're just going to be taking the output taxes minus the input tax. Right, uh, the output tax minus the input taxes. Now you can do your math well. Well, triple six, six six seven plus eight thousand uh, plus forty nine seven twenty four plus twenty two zero sixty nine plus two of four one thirty eight plus ninety three seventy nine. Plus three four seven nine plus sixty seven zero three. Yeah, we are getting something closer to ten forty six four fifty nine, right? On this side, we are having eight hundred and sixty seven seven two minus eight thousand, getting eight oh eight. Eight oh eight. 772 minus your million, which is 1046, 
459. So in this case, you are getting a VAT refundable. How much is the VAT refundable? 1046, 459, 1046, 459. We are getting a refundable of 237,687. 237,687. And in simple terms, this refundable is not an amount which an organization can see is an income to them. This is not an income. In most cases, you normally find that when you are, you are doing the questions of uh, taxation of the business and partnership, uh, the refundable, the VAT refundable is included there. This is not uh, something you can be able to utilize, right? But it will just be reducing your taxes. This is not a revenue you can be able to recognize and therefore you cannot utilize it in long in long run. So that is how you do your computations. When you have the VAT being included in your figures, that is how you deal with it. That is how you deal with the elephant in the house. Any question, please? Any question? So we can proceed to the next question. <clears throat> And someone to read for me, please. Question number 3C. Mohamed? Yes, Malim, we did this question. Can we do another one, please? No, we can read it again. We will just do. Okay. John Musioka is employed as a finance manager by Safari Estate Limited. He reported the following details of his, fine, uh, his income and that of his uh, wife for the year ended at 1st December 2023. Number one, he was, a, uh, was entitled to a basic salary of 400000 per month and payee of 120000 per month was deducted. Number two, he was also entitled to an annual bonus of 120000 during the year. The bonus for the year 2023 was... However, not paid uh, not paid until February 2024. Number three, the employer provided him with a motor vehicle of 2,2600cc that had costed the company 3.2 million in the year uh, 2021. The vehicle was valued at 2.5 at the beginning of the year 2023. Number four is annual mortgage repayment of a 20,000 inclusive of interest of 180,000 was entitled by the employee. The loan was obtained from Elite Bank on 1st January 2023 to purchase our own residential house. Number five, the following deductions were made from his salary during the year. Subscriptions to Jengal uh, Golf Club of 66,000. Contributions to a registered pension scheme of 180,000. Number six, he received a bonus dividend of 80000 from his shares in Safari Real Estate Limited, where the withholding tax was paid by the company. Number seven, his senate Musioka is employed by Bright Farmers Cooperative Society as a general manager at a basic salary of 160000 per month. Number eight, she is housed within the cooperative societies farm where she contributes 5% of her basic salary as a rent. She received free farm produce worth 24000 during the year. Number nine, her other income comprised of interest income of 10-year uh, infrastructure development bond of 120000 uh, interest from Wema De Development Bank Limited of 85000 that's a net uh, and gross farming income of to 40,000 excluding family con uh, consumption value at 30,000. Number 10, John Musioka and his wife, uh, Janet, Janet Musioka, has been filing separate tax returns to the Revenue Authority. Number 11, ignore the contribution of uh, computation of affordable housing levy. Required compute for the taxable income for uh, John Sioka and his wife Janet Musioka for the year ended 31st December 2023. Roman 2 determined the tax payable, if any, on the uh, computed uh, income computed about. Um, thank you, Mohammed. And uh, I know very well we have to be looking there. Are a bit of correction, which uh, 
I just want to make there regarding to the computation of the tax payable, things might be the same. Um, and basically, when you are doing the employment income, basically you're going to be getting the marks depending on the interpretation of the questions and so on and so forth. So in this case, when these questions are coming, um, uh, are coming around to you, uh, when you are doing the, um, when you are doing our, our questions, number one, and I say this, always don't play with the, uh, with the title. The title is very crucial at your stage. That matters a lot. You need to be putting the titles whether you're doing the VAT and so on. That is a mark. The mark can make you see an advanced level, and, and, and a level that you have not seen before. So we have been told that John, John Mukioka is, is, an, is, a, is a finance manager by Safari Real Estate Limited. So he reported the following details of his income and uh, that of his wife in the year that first December 2023. And I remember being able to do all these uh, for the benefit of the class. Now, um, remember, we have been told to do the computations uh, for Musioka. Uh, for Musioka, both for, for him um, and for the wife. So, uh, uh, there is something I just wanted to do clarity there uh, regarding to those computations. So one minute, I just want to pick from uh, where we did and then I can be able to elaborate the areas which I saw there is a, uh, a point which requires um, your attention. One minute, please. I just wanted to, those is something that I just wanted to remind you how we did and uh, what are the areas you have to be focusing on. I hope the screen is okay um let us look on the uh, challenge of network is uh, experience there so let me share so let me start with the one he did in 12 to just be able to start with john musioka because the requirement is asking you to compute the taxable income so this is what you normally do um every 2024 I think now we are doing which question? It should be question number three, three C. And it doesn't mean that uh, Malimo is not focusing on those theories that uh, you cannot be able to check on them. The theory is because I, I know it's something that uh, you can be able to give a lot of points beyond the one that I've provided in the notes. It's very crucial for you to, uh, to do research more about them. So here we are discussing about John Musioka. John Musioka. We are discussing the period. Uh, you have to be, this is the shortest way of writing your title. We say 2023 employment, employment income computation. Employment income computation, just like that. Then you're going to be having the Kenya shillings there, you can reduce them to thousands of shillings. And we are going to be starting with the basic, basic salaries. So how much is the basic salary for, for Musioka? We have been told here, he is entitled for 400,000, right? 400,000 shillings. Are we together at that point? He's entitled to 400,000. So allow me to pick 400. When Mohammed was ready, I could not be able to hear somewhere he was being released from employment. So this stands to around 4,800, right? That is your basic salary. 
right? The pay which was deducted will be reducing our tax liability down there. Now, we have been told that he was entitled to an annual bonus. Now, we have the issues of the, the annual bonus, uh, which we have been, been told uh, the bonus for the year 2023 was however not paid until February. So, the annual bonus, you can see, this bonus is for the previous year. We might have deducted it from that period, not uh, taxable. Right, because it's for the previous year, if it was for this year, then no problem with it. Uh, it is for this year, but it's good to be um, given next year. Um, uh, let me look at it. It was entitled to an annual bonus of 120 during the year. Um, the bonus of the year 2023 was however not paid. That is not the case. The period when it is doing, that is why I say that you just need to make some adjustment there. The period when it is going to be received, that is none of our business. Even the taxes, whether it is payee and so on, we normally submit them even when the employer has not paid us, right? You might not have received the salaries, but uh, the computation I've already done and submitted to the revenue authorities. The employer provided him with a motor vehicle. So here we can talk about car benefits. Very simple things. We have to be start with the, the CC ratings, right? How much is the CC rating of the vehicle? We have been told it's 2,600. So when we have the 2,600, where are we supposed to go? You come back here, right? You come here, uh, up here. And then you see the annual figures for the motor vehicle. We have been told it is around 2,600. So it is between 2,001 to 3,000 CC. Per month is 8,600. Per year is 103, 200, 103, 200. So you come back here, you say, and then you go back to your question. Go back to your question. You go back to your question here. And then we are saying, on the question now, the CC rating, we have been told, um, <clears throat> we have been told that the employer provided me the motor vehicle of 26, um, I had a cost of 3.2 in the year 2021. The, the, the NBV is not factored here. These we have gotten 103, 103, 200, right? Then when you look on the percentage, we normally talk about 2% per month. You multiply by 12 months, then you multiply by the costs of the vehicle. It's not about the NBV. So the cost is 3.2 million. 3.2 million there, right? 3.2. So how much it is? How much would this be? Now, that is around the, uh, which is coming back. This is uh, 24, 0.24 times 3.2 million. Getting 768. Between the two, you normally take the higher on this side. Where we are getting the higher is 768. The higher is 768. That is the computation of the um, car benefits. Very simple. Uh, when the issue regarding to the car hire, you know that when the issue being raised, which will be raised regarding to the car hire, we... We, 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 we anticipate that uh, we, when we are hiring the motor vehicle, we are going to be, the taxable benefit would be the cost of uh, uh, the hiring, the, the car or the motor vehicle. Now we have note number four, which we are being told is annual mortgage repayment of 820, um, 820,000, right? So we are being told that, uh, um, um, the issues of the mortgage, you have been told, is annual mortgage repayment of 800 inclusive of our interest of 180 was settled by the employer, right? Uh, the loan was obtained from the Airlife Bank on 1st January 2023 to purchase own residential house. What was the amount which this guy was able to, the, um, the mortgage repayment? the mortgage repayment by employer. So it's a taxable benefit. By the employer is a taxable benefit. Now, by the employer, how much it is? Uh, we have been told it is 820. 
um, which is it includes an interest of 180, right? This basic salary, by the way, it has the aspect of the payee. So the one it doesn't have any problem, right? The one it doesn't, the reason is if the 320 or if the 820 was not paid, that guy could have paid inclusive of that 180. So it means our 820 stands to be the taxable benefits, uh, being the taxable benefit, because we have been told that the employer was able to pay 820 exclusive. That analysis was wrong there. He paid 820 inclusive, inclusive of the, the interest. That is the whole amount we the guy was able to borrow. Note number five, we are being told the, the following deductions were made uh, from the e salary uh, during the year. Uh, we have the subscription to Jenga Golf Club. We have the contribution to a registered pension schemes, uh, which around 180, we will be able to check on that. But uh, he was able to receive a gross dividends of uh, uh, 80 from his shares in Safari Real Estate Limited, where the withholding tax was paid by the company. Um, then I think down there, we are going to be discussing the issues of the wife. Um, allow me that now to be checking on the, the issues of the other income. I don't think if we have any problems related to the, the housing, the, the house benefit is not there. So what is about the other incomes? The other incomes, yeah? The other incomes. So the other incomes, I can see not number 11. Then on number 11, there is some he was able to receive some dividends. Um, there is a point somewhere. In note number six, we are being told he received, in note number six, he was able to receive a gross dividends of 80,000 from his shares in Safaricom or in Safari Real Estate Limited, where the withholding tax was paid by, uh, the, by the company, right? Some people doesn't understand what are the aspects of the withholding, right? So the dividend income, the dividend income, the dividend income. When you look on the, the issue regarding the dividend income here, right? We have been told it is coming from the safari. These dividends, they are subjected for further taxation. So the dividend income, uh, the withholding which was submitted uh, cannot be final because uh, they are coming from there, from a limited too. They are coming from a limited liability companies uh, where the withholding was paid. So the, the safari was able to submit the withholding to the revenue authority. Just to say that uh, this guy with the manager was able to receive the other income of 80,000, right? When you look on our notes here, I just want to go to the notes, read the, the issues regarding to the uh, before now. Let's go to, uh, to my, let me just go to my notes down there. Just want to, to make sure now you are able to understand what normally happens, where and why. Um, I just want to know whether it is qualifying with you. Let us find that. Uh, the, the dividends we have said, they are normally categorized into three. We have the exempt dividends. We have the qualified and qualified dividends. Now, because now we are not discussing with the with the exempt, let us look on number two and number three regarding the qualifying and qualified dividends. So the qualified dividends, they normally attract a withholding tax of 5%, which is final taxes. And we are being told it is not a, uh, there is no any further taxation in it. And this is the dividend received from financial institutions and body corporates. And then we have the dividend received from circles. Non qualifying, uh, we have said a uh, withholding tax of 15% is not final. They are normally subjected for further taxation as far as uh, not, after which a withholding uh, tax relief is due to be granted. They normally include the dividend received from corporate societies other than circles. So if you ask me now, the dividend income from the safari, these are just like dividends which you have invested somewhere, and you normally receive them at the end of the financial year. For example, when you look on the a summarization here, the dividends from institution to an institution, these are financial institutions, and in financial institution to another institution, we can talk about the withholding tax is not final, right? right? But look, you can look at it when it is coming from an institution 
to a different tools, right? The withholding taxes is final. The withholding taxes are final. So it means, right, when I'm going to be getting some, some um, when I'm going to be getting my, uh, my dividends at the end of the financial year, for example, from the shares, which let me talk about, I'm going to be receiving some dividends from the shares which you have invested with certain organization like Safaricom. Now, that, that, there is no any way the KRA will be able to follow me to declare this. Because in most instances, it is normally, what normally happens, we normally do, uh, there is an assumption which is normally done here, that the, the, the revenue that you are using to do the investment has already been taxed, has already been taxed, and therefore, allow me to stop at that point, we can be able to analyze it up to tomorrow, and be able to analyze that so much. Um, um, from there now, we can be able to look on something. Uh, we have the dividend income there. Subscription to Jenga a Golf Club, the subscriptions. Um, that one we are not going to be uh, helping us. The following deductions were made from his salary during the year. So the subscription uh, will never be able to help here. But here we can be able to lay something very simple. We are talking about uh, the contribution, the contribution towards pension scheme. And this was done during the year. It doesn't mean that uh, it was done during the year. Uh, it is not something that was done um, during the year. If it was done during the year, you mean the actual contribution or the, sorry, the set limit. Let me start with the set limits. You know the set limit for the pension schemes. It is around, it is capped at 240. Then we have the actual contributions. The actual contributions, the actual contribution which he was able to make during the year was 180,000. And you know down here, we normally take the lower values. Up here, you normally take the higher. Down here, you take the lower. This is equivalent to 240. 204, sorry, 180. 180, sorry. 180 there. And I think there is no any additional information which is helping us to have further information regarding to this guy called uh, John Mosioka. So it means we can be able to look at uh, what is the total taxable income? What is the total taxable income? What is the total taxable income? You just need to take my calculator for better men of that. So 4,800 plus 120 uh, plus 768. Uh, plus 820 minus 180, getting 6328. 6328. And I, I know very well, we might be having some concepts regarding to the income of our band of our wife. Um, the income of our wife is still treated as the income of the husband and so on. Remember the KRA is taxing each individual. A lot of marry certificate. Kilam to. Uh, has to be taxed by the revenue authority uh, from the income which you are receiving from uh, the institutions or any uh, companies uh, doing the operations in the Kenya in Kenya. So there is there is there there, are, there was some clauses there before regarding to the 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 income of a wife is regarding the um, some few things like that. But right now those things becomes irrelevant. I want us to look at the income of a wife here the income of Janet Mosioka now, right? The issues of Janet Mosioka. Let us look at it. So when you look on the, the issues of the Janet Mosioka, you're just going to be writing the title the same, the Janet Mosioka here. The Janet Mosioka. And then this title is going also to be coming there. Kenya shillings there, into thousands of shillings, into thousands of shillings there. And we have been told he received, sorry, in note number seven, his wife Janet Mosioka is employed by Bright Farmers Corporate Society as a general manager at a basic salary of 160. So basics, basic salary is 160 times 12, right? 160 times 12, how much is that? Uh, we are getting 1920. 
Uh, that is the basic salary. Note number eight, we have been told she is housed, right? She is housed um, within the corporate society's farm where she contributes 5% of her basic salary to rent, right? Uh, we have been told also um, a salary. Uh, she received free farm produce what 224,000 during the year. So uh, when you look on the, the house benefit there, his wife, uh, Brightus, the general manager at Abbas, sorry, he contribute 5%. Um, okay. So in simple terms, right? When you look on the, she has a house benefit there. She has house benefits. So the house benefits, so how will be the house benefits? The house benefits, right? We say it, can we be able to take 15% of the employment, which is 1920, right? Which is 1920, um, minus the, the amount which you are contributing. How much is it contribute? This is what you normally call the nominal rent. How much is the nominal rent? So the nominal rent we have been told it is five percent of we have been told it will be five percent of our basic salary, which is 1920. Fifteen percent of the employment income that is what we have. But if it was for the Musioka now, we could have done the house benefit of Musioka will be uh, the total of all these for the house benefit. I think you are able to watch a lot of videos and I can see how they are going on uh, 1920 minus 0.05 times 1920. We are getting 192. That is how simple uh, the house benefit issue there you can be able to raise. Okay, yes, I can see you are able to, uh, I was just confirming whether you can be able to see everything. You have been told also she normally receives Farm produce during the year, that is a benefit. Farm produce of 24, that is a farm produce which she is receiving there. Not number nine, we have been told the other income comprised of the interest income, the 10 year infrastructure bonds. These are the other incomes. So we are talking about 10 years infrastructure infrastructure bonds, and we are saying not taxable. Uh, we have also the issue regarding to the, the interest from WEMA Development Bank of 85,000, um, the interest, the interest, the interest we are getting from WEMA. So when you look on the, the issues of uh, uh, the interest and all that, uh, I remember last time when you were looking on the qualified and qualifying, uh, for example, the qualified dividends, we say uh, these are the interest received by EDV tools uh, only from the financial institutions within Kenya. Now, the interest with this is uh, she is able to get, uh, she was able to get uh, the interest from Wema Development Bank Limited. We have not been told it's a bank outside Kenya. Uh, so, also this becomes... Uh, not taxable because you can see the interest we have said uh, it is be received that is qualified and not subjected for further taxations. That is the case and changes which I just wanted to make from our original um, our original video which we did. Um, we have another note there regarding to the the issues of uh, regarding to the issues of uh, the gross family income. The gross farming income here. I hope you are able to. Are we together, by the way? Abra. Are we together to that point? Abra. Yes. Okay. I think my voice is clear. 
Now, when it comes to the issues of farming income, I can see there is a gross farming income which she was able to receive there. Um, the gross farming income, that one you can just be able to treat it uh, as other incomes. So you just tell me gross farming income. The gross farming income, the gross farming income, we have been told it is 270. 270. Now, there is nothing else here to deduct. So let us know how much is the total taxable income. The total taxable income. How much is the total taxable income here? So the total taxable income will be how much? 1920 uh, plus 192 plus 24. Mine, oh sorry, plus 270. We are getting 2406. 2406. I, I, I think you are able to see the differences um, in the computations from what we did in class and the changes, uh, which the corrections which I was able to make there. Okay. Let us look at the tax payables for both. The tax payables. The tax payable. I and mean, I will be able to start uh, knowing very well these are graduate scale rates. Uh, for this year, here is another area I wanted to make some changes here. Now, for this year, right, the graduate scale rate was different from what we have been experiencing over the years. So let me talk about the first 288,000. Once you multiply by 10%, you get 28,800, right? When you look on next, next there okay so the next for us how much is the next the next will be between 388 and 288 getting a hundred thousand time that graduate is get it uh that uh, rate of tax which is 25 percent getting 25 thousand right um we have our next there right our next I can see here, we have 63.28, which is above 6 million. So in this case, it means I have to be taking 6 million, minus 388,000, uh, getting 56.12 times 56.12, we multiply by 30%, uh, times 0 0.3, getting 16.83. 1683 600. Then we are looking on our balances there. So the balance will be 6328. 6328,000 minus 6 million. Right? Minus 6 million. Okay. There is a challenge there because I know that you might not be in a position to see my boards. Let me know what happens. The, the issues of the online and so on. So, sometimes I see they are normal. So, I think I was explaining these graduate scarets. The first is 288,000 times 10, getting 28,800. We have the next, which is the, the difference between 388 and 288. We are getting it uh, 100,000. We multiply by 25%, getting 25,000. Uh, the next one will be the difference between 6 million and 388,000 as far as your graduate scarets. Uh, getting 56, 12,000, you multiply by 30%. Uh, you're getting 1683600. Then the balance now comes to your salary, the total taxable income that you computed, minus now the 6 million. 
remember you are taking the 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 maximum values uh to make your uh the taxes so in this case this one is around uh, 328000 328000 328000 there then we multiply by that rate provided uh of that 2.5 of that 2.5 percent so 328 times uh that is 0 0.325 getting 105 105 625 105 625 how much it is so this one uh this one we multiply by what um we add 1683 1683 600 plus 25000 plus 28800 this one you are getting 1843 then we less the withholding tax reliefs if they could be but i will be able to start in the, the because i know they are not there in our case here now we also have things like pay so how much would they pay here how much is our pay in the question um the pay here you can see we have one twenty thousand per month so it will be one twenty thousand multiplied by 12 one twenty thousand you multiply by 12 getting 14 40 000. personal relief so the personal relief is our today 28 800 and then this person works uh partially uh during the year now that is 28 800 uh, do we have anything there any other thing there that we need uh, to do the adjustments? Anything there? I see the network is becoming a challenge there. So because I'm being challenged by network, please you'll be able to forgive me. So um <clears throat> I just be able to create another time we proceed with our revisions. Now the tax payable for this person is how much? The tax payable will be how much? The tax payable will, will be how much? We are going to be having 1843.025 minus 1440,000 minus 28,800, getting at 374,225. 374,225 is the tax. That is the tax. I know that uh, the video is not going close to, is not going uh, similar with the, with the voice, uh, but. Um, the the taxes when you look on the the taxes for the wives for example this is 2406 i just want to explain with whatever we have here uh because i dislike uh, what is happening now i see now we have done these and we have done that for the wife or let me just do it here for you uh for better understanding much are too poor irritating but let me do something here i know that you'll be able to understand We'll look at whether I can see you tomorrow or Tuesday. Now, uh, when you look at uh, when we look at uh, for Janet now, for Janet, what was the figure? Is it 2806? I think I will just be able to pick 2806. First, 288,000 times 10%, getting 28,800, right? Next will be, 100,000 multiplied by 25%, get it 25,000. Eh? Then here we have balance. How much of the amount here? Is it 2406 or something? 
it should be something like that, 2406. Then we, mo we, mo we subtract. 2406, we are going to be subtracting 388,000. Because this is the maximum, right? 388,000. Then we multiply it by 30%. We are not going to be taking the 6 million as how we did last time, but you're going to be taking the maximum. The maximum now is 2406. Then you subtract the uh, the the value on the second band. So 2406,000 minus 388,000. We multiply by 0 0.3, getting 605,400. 605,400. Then we don't have anything there, plus uh, that is 53,800. Getting 629, 659. 659,200, right? Now, I could be able to see we had some, uh, uh, do we have some withholdings here? Right, do we have some with all these? Do we have some with all these for the wife? Let me see. Uh, we have some few things there. Uh, because the payee is not there, we don't have payee for the wife, but we have the personal relief. The personal relief, the personal relief is 28,800. So we also have things like the interest from the WEMA. We have some interest somewhere. No, no, we, have, we don't have some interest. Uh, the interest, no, we don't have. So how much is the tax payable here? The tax payable, how much is it? How much is your tax payable? So 659, 200 minus 28,800. We're going to be getting 630, 630, 400, 630, 400. So because of the challenge of the network, the, the last three questions, just stay tuned. I will just be able to communicate. Tomorrow, Nikifika Nyumbani Mapema, and we shall be able to do uh, that. But then we can start from, uh, we will chat from the WhatsApp group, but Kamamuna is up at Kana around six, six to eight there, six to eight. We can just be able to do uh some something we can be able to do something um i know some, some things will be settled tomorrow for my network do not be looking like that do not be looking like so and my voice will be in a better place any question please sorry becky to kona challenge kidogo hapo lakini utarekebisha Sorry for today. Any question, please? I just need to, to hear some questions. I think, Mohammed, you had already discussed about uh, the concepts of having more, more questions regarding to the employment. I think if you talked about the VAT, the VAT and the... Uh, was about the VAT yeah. and... Um, capital allowance. The capital allowances. Today here we have capital allowances. In other first paper which we shall be able to do, we have capital allowances. I will be able to share my revision or, or rather I have shared. I will just be able to check uh, with my whatever I have shared with you. Whether there is any other sitting I have shared with you, I will share. Then from there, we will be able to check on the areas of concerns. From me, I will just be able to talk to you at a different level, I want to know Becky akona shida gani, Abra akona wapi, what it might be the problem which might be arising from those, of those cases, and so on and so forth, so that I, we can be able to pass as a team. It's not like uh, an individual effort. That is what I will be looking on as we approach our new month, uh, uh, which we are hopefully will be sitting for exams uh, in in August 2022, if things keep settling in our country. So, 
let's pause at that point and um see you next okay time. if i may ask yes yes with the with the taxable tax payable mm -hmm. payable for john i'm listening i can see he created uh Yes, uh, there we, we did uh, 56,000 times 30%. Okay, I understand that one is the 6 million minus the 388, the way we have done for Janet. But why did we do again a balance of 63? Why did we do it like four times and here three times? When you look on the graduated, thank you so much for the question. When you look on the graduated scale, 6320,000 is more than 6 million, right? Yeah. And therefore, the salary of John is above six million. Yeah. Right. So we need now the, the, for the John is taking more than uh, more bands compared to Janet because the Janet was uh, the maximum was twenty four zero six. Now you cannot be able to tell me, Mwalimu, what about three eight eight zero zero one to six million? Why can we scrap that out as far the how now you're asking, can we scrap that out and we start with 63, the above six? So when you look on that band, it's up to six million. 63.28 runs from six million and one to nine million, right? It is in that band. And therefore, that is why we calculated for six million minus 388, because the salary is above the six million. It's above the six million. If it was, a, for example, 56, uh, let me talk about if the salary for John was 46,000. Now we could be taking 46,000 minus 388,000. Uh, 388, then you multiply by 30%. But if it is above a certain band, then you have to do computations for that band. Okay. Is okay. So, what is the percentage we've used there to multiply the balance? Yeah, the percentage you've used to multiply the balance, how much is it? 32.5%. That's 2.5. 32.5%, yes. Let me share this okay. question here. I think I, I think I was getting something different because I was getting 106, 600. 106, 600. Iso, iso yes. as long as you, have, you may part and jia, there is no any problem with that. Um, you can see the tax is there. The tax rate is 32.5%. Uh, for the 388001 is six uh, to 6 million is 30% and so on. But we will do more okay. questions to elaborate this tax ban, the new tax ban, which was examined um, last semester, which was examined last semester. Okay. Okay. So let us stop at that point. Let me wish you good night. See you. Let's talk. Let's talk. I will see you tomorrow or something like that.